Family Health School Health Centers are now all open and they're open to serve you and you don't just have to be a student, they serve anyone. And uh, if you're feeling uh, stressed, need a physical, wanna learn more about your health, or the reason most people go, if you're feeling sick, uh, all are welcome. Northwest Community Health Center, Jackson High, Northeast and Parkside, the Center for Family Health has been opening the door to healthcare for all for more than 30 years. Chris Parandi's stunt dog experience is coming back to Jackson College. A uh, great show, perfect entertainment for the whole family. Kids love this. And after the show, uh, Chris and his team bring the dogs out into the lobby for Ooh. photo ops. Paw prints. Paw prints, yeah, wow. autographed paw prints. Uh, they have merch, it's a really cool event. And they've got uh, special pricing for kids. In fact, everyone, it's special pricing. It's a good deal. Get your tickets now, and we will see you at Potter Center Sunday, April 23rd. Two shows, noon and 4 p.m. Well, we've talked about him and this company a lot over the last few months, and uh, here to join us on set is the owner of Professional Tree Care, Chad Fox. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Doing Good really day. well. Yeah, Andy uh, raves about uh, all the things you've been able to do uh, at his yard, wow. particularly the, after the storm. Well, I got to tell you this one thing. Um, <laughs> this one thing that happened. So, uh, Chad and his team were up at a neighbor's house up in our up in our neighborhood and saw that I had a pile of nastiness and came by, chipped them for me, got rid of it, made it look like I actually went to the effort to call <laughs> and, you know, I told my wife, oh yeah, yep, I called, they're on their way over, all taken care of without even calling. Wow. It's unbelievable. But uh, I, the storm was just nuts. And I think you were, I might have been one of your first calls. Yeah, you were, you were we were there early in the morning and uh, we, we ended up leaving your house and going up the road to Corey Mays and yeah. seeing he had a big branch down, so. Yeah, you had people who couldn't get out of their driveway. Um, talk a little bit about what happens to all these trees during these storms. Yeah, so the storm we had was like, it was a once in a lifetime event. Yeah. And the, Temperature has to be perfect, you know, those couple degrees. Yeah. And, but we had a lot of calls for, uh, you know, people trapped in their driveways wanting to get that cleared. And mm. we took over 300 calls in the first oh, three days. That's amazing. And then we get hit with that snowstorm, you know, the next week, and that kind of compounded everything. So, had, had you seen a, a situation like this where the limbs just kind of kept falling and falling and falling? Man, look at that. I know. That's, I mean, and that's, that's all day happening, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, that tree right there is uh, that's on Clark Lake. It's one of my customers. The whole top of that broke out and kind of broke the landscape below. So, wow. kind of showing off the lift there, the versatility of getting through really tight quarters down there. So, yeah, and you guys, uh, uh, you have special, you have unique and special equipment to be able to handle all this stuff. Um, yes. and, and none of this stuff, the homeowner should try. No, no, no. No, you see those videos. Oh, the guys with the two two people cutting down a, you know, a redwood, and then where does it fall? On top of them or the car or the house? It's right. ridiculous. Yeah, trees and uh, ladders don't mix. So. <laughs> what is it about um, the time of year? Because uh, are the trees more brittle because they're uh, it's frozen or what? Yeah. So during that ice storm, that event, the trees, you know, they're they're a lot more brittle that you know with the with the ice on there so you touch them with a the chainsaw and they just explode there's no wow there's no hinge there so i had you guys out before winter to do kind of a uh kind of your cleanup maintenance trimming um i'm wondering what my property would have looked like had that not happened you know realize it made me realize how important some of that stuff is and and it's important to call you guys because you can get stuff that's cut creeping toward the house already and Yep. Um, prevent possible future damage. Yep, so we, we did visit a couple of customers that we did trim the past, you know, few months before yeah. the storm and they had very minimal yeah. stuff, you know, a couple sticks here and there, nothing broken, yeah. so. You guys were at Kristoff's uh, recently. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun job. They had so. uh, what? tell us about what happened over at Kristoff's. Yeah, so they had a mulberry tree that tipped over from the riverbank and very limited access. We had like three feet, so we ended up bringing the crane in, set, and setting it up in the back of the parking lot there. Reached over the <laughs> over the building. We put a climber on the end of the ball and kind of put him on top of the of the tree and rigged it all off and you know no damage. But it sure. was a fun job for sure. 
Yeah, very creative solution. Yep. A lot of uh, damage out of Clark Lake uh, from that storm too. Yes, a lot. We're, st we're still cleaning up Clark Lake, so. So now that people are kind of, you know, there's a lot of people still probably assessing their yard and things like that. What about just, you know, okay, we got to get rid of this tree. You get tree removal, no problem for you guys. That's yep. Yep. That's one of our specialties. Yeah. So we're trying to get more into the plant health care, um, yeah. trying to <laughs> do more of the treating for diseases and stuff right. like that going forward. But removal is definitely, yeah. you know, our specialty. Are we seeing any uh, certain uh, trees with uh, disease issues in Jackson County? No, I've, so oak will is a big thing right now. Um, but April 1st was the deadline to trim your oaks. And then we kind of want to wait until fall to, to hit those. So trying to get a list going for, for fall and winter to trim the oaks. But oak will the biggest thing. And yeah. I'm, it's not really a big thing like it is in Ann Arbor or Detroit. I mean, they get hit. They've got hot zones over there where they can really destroy the oak trees, mm. so. Yeah, remember the Dutch elm disease that yep. wiped out the, pretty much the whole species. Yep. You ever accidentally throw something in the chipper that wasn't a tree? Uh, I've seen people <laughs> do that. <laughs> on purpose. No, I, you know, what, if there's a, maybe someone had one of those wind chimes accidentally on the branch and it got thrown in and mm -hmm. just. I've seen a lot yeah. of Christmas lights go Christmas through. Christmas lights, yeah. That's we do it. the Boy Scouts every year. We trip okay. up all the Christmas trees for them. And oh, that's nice. Yeah, a couple of guys will show up with a tree full of Christmas lights. So, <laughs> a big ham. I you're used to see a big ham going to a big ham. Yeah. Trip. Well, you you're one of those people who puts the Christmas tree out with the lights on by the road. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Uh, once, yeah. once. <laughs> yeah. Actually, at our old house, we had a stack of Christmas trees. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> well, we I told the kids that you know we would take the trees out into the back and replant them. And I said, <laughs> when it turns nice, we'll have this tree, we'll have re reborn. And every year you, you believe that, right? Every year I drag the tree out back to my, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. So just a yeah, they don't pile of dead pines. No, they don't. No, they don't. I uh, highly recommend you and can't thank you enough for I all. Yeah, that. you got, got me through a lot this winter for sure. So. <laughs> Uh, you don't realize how stranded you can be when an event like that happens. It's amazing. Who else is on your team that helps uh, with your uh, services? So I've got uh, Pat O'Dowd helps with my marketing on the side. Mm -hmm. And then my wife, she, uh, she takes all the phone calls. Awesome. So if you call and get a quote, she's taking care of uh, the phone call and kind of getting things going for me. Yeah. And then uh, my dad worked for me for a long time doing estimates, but and then I've got a couple guys that have been with me for 15 years. So. Oh, wow. That's yep. great. Yep. Good team over at Professional Tree Care. Chad, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Chad Fox from Professional Tree Care. More of the morning show right after this quick break.